Hi everybody, welcome to my channel, Living in the Red Dot. This is May from Singapore. Today, the perfumes I have for you are from the house of Repeto. And if this is something you're interested in, please stay tuned. Hi everyone, so I have four perfumes for you from the house of Repeto. Um, I have the uh, Repeto EDT, Repeto EDP, um, Repeto Eau Florale, and a Repeto Dance with Repeto. So, yeah. Now, this is a bit of an understated line of perfumes. Um, if you're not sure uh, where you've heard it before, Repeto is actually known for making um, ballet shoes. Um, so I think I believe that's where they started and then they started making like a, a clothing for uh, for ballerinas for ballet um, uh, ballet people in general and I think it was only back in 2013 when they started to get into the perfumes so Perfumery isn't really their thing. Oh, one thing they're known for are, are the very, very expensive ballet flats. Very pricey, but very cute. Um, uh, I love those flats. They're really, really like classy and nice. So, okay, back to the perfume. So the first, first perfume they launched <coughs> was back in 2013, and it is the Repeto, Repeto EDT. Um, so the bottle looks like this very pretty now, I don't know is it meant to be like do they think ballerinas smell like this um, probably um, all the perfumes in the line are you know quite feminine obviously so this one this one the nose behind this one is Olivier Polge um, which is the son of Jacques Pauge, who created uh, Coco Mademoiselle. So if you smell this one, you be reminded a bit of Coco Mademoiselle, but not quite. It's a little bit more softer, it has a bit of a sour smell to it, and it not sour in a bad way, just this kind of soury undertone that gets um, in your nose and it's it it's floral and not sweet. I think maybe that's why I say sour. It's not is not a sweet perfume, at least not to me. So it smells nice, but it's just not my thing. Um, I'm not sure whether it's kind of Olivier Pauge um, intent is to kind of pull away from his father's name and kind of start his own thing but still take some of the elements of what he's learned from his dad um, it kind of feels like something like that like you know he's got a bit of his dad's kind of like legacy um, in here but he's giving it his own twist so <coughs> yeah so one of the reasons i don't like this is because it is to me slightly sour um and it doesn't really last um it's about two hours and it's gone out uh, gone gone i think even on clothes it's like fading already so it's really a very light perfume um I guess it's it's very good for you know places like hospitals schools you know, and stuff where they don't want an overpowering powering perfume but it is quite elegant so yeah I, I suppose it's appropriate for like ballerinas um, so that was 2013 2014 they released the EDP which I contemplated on getting a bigger bottle, but so far I, I haven't decided. I think I just put it aside. I haven't really been buying much perfumes um, lately. I So I have a small one of the Eau de Parfum, and 
this one. I like it so much better than the EDP. And I think it's because it is much, much more similar to Coco Mademoiselle, um, except it has kind of like a juicy plum in it. And that plum makes it a bit sweeter to my nose. That's why I like it. It's really more of a fruity floral. Now we're going to the fruity floral. It's, I find it quite compared to Coco Mademoiselle, it's a little bit more youthful and a little bit more kind of innocent. So again, like I'm thinking ballerinas are, are the inspiration for this perfume. So if you're looking at it from that point of view, I think it, it fits quite well. It is it, it's nice. Um, I'm still not quite decided whether I should get the bigger bottle or not. But yeah, um, this one I would recommend much more than the EDT based on my personal preferences. <coughs> 2015. So they're really going at it. Like every year they have a new release. So 2013, they got the Repeto um, Eau Floral. Eau de Toilette. So the, this is an Eau de Toilette. And the bottle is similar, very similar. Oh, and I don't like the caps. They come off very easily, you know. And it's big, so you're kind of tempted to like kind of grab it from the top, but it comes off so easily. It's kind of scary. So Eau, de, Eau Floral, more floral, is quite pink very pretty pretty pink right there so again this is a soft perfume um, but it's more powdery it's powdery more powdery than the first more floral and more powdery than the first two um, now I know you look at it and you say floral oh must be very very feminine uh, no not really it's actually it lean a bit unisex to me, yeah, for sure unisex. And I I thought that I smelled this before, um, but I couldn't figure out where. So I was researching in Fragrantica and somebody suggested it. It reminds me of Chanel Chance. So Chanel Chance Eau Tendre. Definitely much cheaper than Otandra. So if you are looking for a good dupe for Chanel Chance Otandra, um, if you can find this one, which you can find, at, which I found at the discount store, is quite cheap. Uh, give this one a try. <coughs> it's yeah, mm, very unisex. It they share a lot of similar notes. Um, you know, what? I'm not quite sure who did Chance Otandra? Um, uh, it might, I wonder if it is uh, Olivier Poche again. And that won't be a big surprise because they share the same notes. It's got grapefruit, cedar, and amber. I think those are the notes that sh this one shares with Otandra. Um, yes, so yeah, looking for a good dupe. Um, try this one. Lastly, in 2018, we have um, Repeto, Dance with Repeto Eau de Parfum. I think this is the last perfume from the House of Repeto. I don't know if they have released anything new after that. Um, so this bottle looks very different. The smell is also very different. So the bottle is quite simple. I mean, it's 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 elegant, um, but it's you know not eye catching to me. Many bottles kind of look like this. Um, so this perfume I actually like because it's to me it's quite gourmand. Um, it's by uh, I think. Olivier Cresp or is it Oliver Cresp? Um, very famous nose in perfumery. This is very sweet, very gourmand. Um, 
macaroons and raspberry I know I know I don't like raspberry but here it just it works it's really it smells really quite young to be honest compared to the the first line of Repito perfumes almost very young like I would give it as a gift to a young girl um, maybe like as young as like 12 13 um, especially if they take ballet I think they'll be like oh it's from Repito it's really 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 bright and and girly um, the raspberry does tend to get strong at the end again my skin highlights it but but it, it's it's a nice softer raspberry and it's um and it really doesn't last that long it lasts about four hours um so does the so does the repeto edp the edps last about four hours the edts last about two hours <coughs> so the edts is like typical for your edt um but this one i hope I was hoping they would last maybe six hours for an other parfum, but you know it's not bad. I don't think these are very expensive. At least I I didn't think they're as ex expensive as the Chanel uh, perfumes. And another thing is I haven't really seen them in stores here, so maybe you can only find them in. Um, I don't know if they're discontinued, but maybe you can only find them in discount stores like fragrance net fragrance x um those types of places but so yeah so that's my review for all the perfumes i have from the house of repeto um all in all i love the repeto brand um it's nice that they kind of foraged into that perfume area i'm not sure if it's quite a success because after 2018 i didn't see them release any more new stuff but maybe in the future so if this is um, something you enjoyed uh, please press like share and subscribe thank you